Welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. It's basically Sim Ant or Sim Ant Empire. Now there's been an update which is going to allow us to play as the Leafcutter Ants, which are one of my favorites, one of the newest, and one of the most difficult to play in free play. We also get a play in the rainforest, so check this out. We can choose Embankment, which there's a nice river in the middle, and then there's different spawn locations for various ant empires. So what we're going to want to do is theme it like we're actually in the rainforest. We're going to choose the Leafcutters, and I'm going to choose my specialty of the Major Ant, which... He's called the Major Ant, and I'll tell you this, he's the biggest ant in the game by far. He's an absolute beast. So we want nest invasions and attack waves. Every six minutes, we're gonna get attacked by a giant wave, and there's gonna be occasional nest invasions, and there's all sorts of different modifications we can do. But let's get into it. So we're gonna choose red because it's a nice contrast of red ants over green leaves. Toasty ants. And yes, I know you guys want me to play Kingdoms and Castles. I'm waiting for the Rivals update. So what you're seeing here is a few of the classes of the Leafcutter Ant. We have everything from the teeniest ant to the biggest ant. All for our ant army. So here we're spawning in and it looks like so normally... Alright, we can do that. We can grow quickly to survive. But normally we'd be able to grab this food. Well, not as the Leafcutters. So first, let's open up a door to the undergrowth. Basically, we go from underground to undergrowth? Anyway, it sounds weird, but it makes sense. So we're gonna need a place to store our leaves, so let's go ahead and put them here. And then we'll have all of our ants dig out this tunnel, which is gonna, look at this, in the bottom left, the mini-map, we can see the underground mini-map. We're gonna have two mini-maps. This one gets us to, quote, the undergrowth. And ooh, we got ladybugs that are eating aphids. Now, those are a pretty good source of protein, but we don't need to worry about them. Ooh, grasshoppers around us. And look at this. The bugs are actually fighting, which I love. Okay. So while they're distracted, let's, let's go up to the surface and get a little bit of food. So we're going to make our way downtown. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're making our way out of the nest. And then you'll notice that our ants are going to climb up these leaves. Watch this animation. It's some of the best animation. Look at this. This is a, a bug free-for-all. We got trap jaw ants, grasshoppers, and like larva but then they bring the leaves back in they'll drop them off here and you see this little red bar I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about that in a moment so let's see one of the things that we're gonna need to do is increase the number of soldiers we have and i'm thinking we're gonna build horizontally this way now i've got to find a place basically a poop shoot you know what let's have the poop shoot go over here all right so we have a pretty good selection of like leaves so look at this it's interesting how in our economy we have the leaf storage tile and then we have the the refuse, aka the poop. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more storage. And then we're gonna wanna put refuse way down here. Because if any other ants other than the little mini ones, which once we put this down, you're gonna get to see them, it like it'll poison our ants because no one wants to walk around and poop. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Do you? So I think it's time to, you know, get a few more workers. So let's go ahead and spawn these babies in here. There's a very big bug next to us, but it looks like it's actually a collection of bugs. I wish we were the species that could eat dead bugs as food. We only get food from leaves. The leaf stores are full. The ants can't do nothing about it. So basically this is where the poop goes, right? But you see these little guys? You see how small they are? Look, they'll drop the poop all the way over down here. And look at that. There's where the, it's it's not really poop. It's, it's just like biodegradable waste from the leaves, using leaves as food by putting this mold on it and we eat the mold. It's basically like the leaves, we don't really eat the leaves to my understanding. We eat the mold that grows on the leaves. It's a really, really interesting little system. Yeah, see look, he just walked over it and he got green and gassy and you'll notice if we press the alt button which shows up like, you know, their health bars, they're dropping down. So generally I like to put it a little bit out of the way. So now one of the things we're gonna wanna do is start building out where we're gonna want our soldiers. And I think what we're gonna wanna do is put some little speedies here, which will allow us to move a little bit faster. We can put some over here as well. And now we need some workers because it, what, in a few minutes now, we're, we're gonna be attacked. So let's get these minis. We don't want too many workers because leaf cutter ant workers, they're just not very good. Oh my gosh. Medias, which are <clears throat> the middle-sized ones, are really expensive. Okay, so maybe we actually do want a few more workers to just increase the rate of leaf obtainment. 
<laughs> is, is that the word? All right, let's get... Let's see, where are the leaves at? We, we want some fresh leaves, right? And our guys are getting as many as they can. And the good thing about it is our warriors can actually get food as well. So the challenge today is basically just going to be to go out here and conquer the entirety of this while dealing with occasional invasions in enemy armies trying to attack us and take us out. Ooh, after 13 minutes setup, time waves will attack you every six minutes. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that, that's a little bit scary, but we knew this going into it. We knew what we signed up for. We knew the risks when we joined the ant, the ant army, I guess. So we're gonna upgrade the size of basically our waste dump here, where all the ant poop goes. And it looks like we're gonna probably need to get a little bit more food. I think we're actually in a skirmish. Look at that. So look at how easy workers just get destroyed. They are just not very good. I'm actually kind of curious how we're supposed to get more food. Will leaves just kind of grow over time? in free play. And I love how like, depending on the size of the ant, it depends on, you know, how big of the leaf that they bring back to our base. And if you think about it, so a worker costs us 20 food, a medium soldier costs 80, and then to place down a major, it's 150. Even trap giants, which are pretty formidable, aren't nearly that expensive. I actually think leaves are growing in certain areas or maybe they're allowed to. But we're eventually gonna have to build a giant, like, ant, ant conga line that's gonna stretch all over the place. And I just love how there's just, like, absolute, like, skirmish battle royales of bugs just happening right outside of our nest entrance. Like, look at these. These are giant grasshoppers that just ate one of the little larvas. These are some kind of special plants. I wonder... I wonder if we can eat those. It, it, I, I don't think they appear on the map as a resource. And if you look at it, there's also... Ooh, are these leaves that I could eat? Those look like bug pieces. So there's actually bugs underground with us, but we're protected. But that doesn't mean they can't, like, break out or dig out or and attack us at some point. All right, so I think it's time to place down our first major. Here you go, big boy. Look at that. 150 food. So I can't wait till he gets built. Oh, we got a poison guy because he was, he was building some stuff down here in the Poo Poo Palace. Um, so a little guy pops out of that, but when is the big guy gonna pop out? He's not spawned, you can see. It's zero out of one. Okay, so this guy comes and he plants the larva. Plants places, I don't know, man. It's all a bunch of weird bug stuff to me. Look at how big that larva is compared to the other ones. Oh, <laughs> He's like an AT, AT walker of ants. Okay, so now it's time to go over here. And I'm thinking that we wanna have the soldiers. We don't really want them to gather food, but we want them to be protecting. That being said, the big guys go out and get huge leaves and bring them back. So I just I just love the little three little conga lines, the different sizes. So let's see, do we, oh, we have trap jaw ants protecting some giant bushes over here. We're gonna have to ex Expand our reach, but I don't think we're really ready for it yet. We need a significantly bigger army. Oh, and the next wave's in two seconds. Okay, everybody, hold on. Hold the phone. Everybody back to the base. Now, where are they going to be attacking from? Wave one. Don't know if I see them on the, ra uh, on the map right now. Oh, wait, were these guys stealth or they just came out of nowhere? So look at that. We have like this giant guy. He just stunned them or he taunted them to attack him. So my giant major ant here we go we'll move the little pheromones out of the way so we can kind of see this a little bit better but it, he's absolutely destroying these enemies and it looks like is he does he just lose health so slowly oh my god we absolutely wrecked them okay that's awesome well that was easy enough so you know what i think we want to do is use our army to protect um, let's see, uncover all the bad guys in here, but I don't want to march them near the poop area, so we'll have to dig a side tunnel here. Whoa, so here's the water. There's like these little land bridges over it. I thought I saw a giant enemy over here. Oh, it's a ladybug, okay. But I'm definitely curious to try out our army as it begins to grow a little bit. So we're gonna want, you know what, let's go ahead and get three giants and one other medium. Oh, you know what, hold on. Look at this, okay, so there is a spider, and if any of my ants step on this web, it's like it's like tripwire. Except the tripwire is a bunch of angry spiders hiding in this nest. I love when the big guys are just walking around. What do you, oh, I have, oh shoot, I poisoned my guys by putting them around there. That was bad. Yeah, you don't wanna walk your soldiers 
who were supposed to be good at fighting near the poop area. Let's go ahead and fight this thing now. He's stealing our workers, so I'm not sure if he can get a big guy. Oh, he just took a medium in there. We killed him right away, though. So I think by killing him, the nest will eventually go away. Look at that, man. The biggest enemy that we've experienced so far is our own incompetence as we walked our army into the poop and they got poisoned. Oh, snap. We got this little scary thing around here. Oh, and there's praying mantises just assassinating these little bugs, which means they'll eventually encounter us. So our soldiers are pretty much on like guard duty at the moment. Oh, and the trap jaw ants are getting food and they're coming out of here. There's just a lot of absolute chaos and carnage happening right now in the undergrowth. All right, the next wave is in 60 seconds. Let's move the army back to the base here, which at the moment we only have 12 total ants for the soldiers. Workers can fight, but you know, we have already been o we've already went over how they're just not very good. Oh man, the little the dang spider came back. <laughs> Look at how fast he eats us. We're going to have to kill him once we figure out what wave is attacking us and when. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is like 100 little baby spiders. Oh my god. That's actually pretty terrifying. You can almost barely see them. But they popped up on the minimap, fortunately. They just took out some of our big soldiers, our mediums. Imagine just like, it's death by a thousand cuts, except here it's death by a thousand baby spider bites. Gross. All right, defeated. Now let's deal with this whole thing, which is just a pain in the butt. A pain in the thorax, is, is that the ant stuff? But you can't really kill it for good, can you? I'm gonna send the workers here. Look, this is a giant stalk of food. And then I'm gonna send our army to attack this area here and open up the way. But look at this, look at all those ants converging on it and they're gonna slowly eat this thing over time. It's it's incredible how this spider can just take, I mean, he can take so much and just eat us, but we can't get rid of him, which sucks. Where did you come from? Jeez. Oh, gross. We have, oh, he's just destroying all the trap giants. He's actually working for us, technically. He came out there and started destroying anything that came out behind him. But spiders are pouring out of those tunnels, man. All right, so I'm digging out a new tunnel here. We want more workers. Gotta get more food. Send out the army and attack these little guys. Control group two, I guess, is sent there, which is not what we want them to do. We want them to gather food, not go out and die. Oh, we have upgraded ants. You can see that by the little, like, diamond. And these are trap jaws, which do an incredible amount of damage. And it looks like they even regen a little bit of their health. That's gonna be something that we're gonna wanna do, which is why I designed the base as we have, because now we can upgrade it efficiently. We just don't have the food to do it at the moment. This is absolute chaos out here. There's so much going on and the enemies just build up over time. So to get access to some of the other like sources of food, we'll have to just send like massive convoy. Like look at that. It's the Starship Troopers bugs. And we got a, a next wave attacking in six seconds, which presumably is gonna what? Come from down here maybe, or was it here? Oh, it's a bunch of baby spiders again. Death by a thousand baby spider bites. Oh my God, that's pretty terrifying. They just killed the majors. Whoa, they, they, they just got into the nest. Converge on your queen and protect her. The little spiders are running all over the place. Look at th look at this. It's like a blitzkrieg invasion. They're just killing anything and everything they can find, which is a lot of stuff right now. That's pretty terrifying. I'm sick of baby spiders. I'm just absolutely sick of them. We fought huge spiders, but little spiders are just so annoying. Yes. All right, we've successfully defended the queen. Oh my God, dude, we are getting wrecked right now. That baby spider invasion was just the worst thing that could happen to us. And we're in desperate need of food, so I'm just sending out everybody that I can get. I've just combined everybody into one giant army. I think that might be the best thing to do at the moment. Yeah, I'm thinking it seems to be more effective to just send my guys out in one giant army, and then maybe have a few protection squads near the base is the play. Yeah, the leaf stores, wait, the leaf stores are full. Really? Oh my god, what? Freaking Grasshopper McGrassface comes down here and starts trying to kick our butts. This is- You're not allowed down here, sir. You're a grasshopper. Woo! Alright, well, let's upgrade the food storage area. Ha! We got a little bug thermopylae that happening down here. And it's starting to get daylight out, so we can finally see a little bit better. And thermopylae. <laughs> this is awesome. Although he's really, really effective at fighting us. I can't wait for the fire ant update. Like, there's so many other- species of ants that we could get in Empires of the Undergrowth, which I really hope that we see. Uh-oh, the next wave is in 60 seconds. Hold on to your butts. All right, where do we have food? It's being freaking guarded. So basically, once these guys go out and fight, 
we're gonna need to pull everybody back pretty much right after this. So all this food that they're bringing back is like the last bit of food that we're gonna get till after wave four attacks. All right, now we got these soldiers. I wanna keep them as like just guard duty. All right, that's gotta do it. We've only got 19 seconds. How come it says I'm only control? Oh, it's Captain America spider. Huh, look at how slow they move over the webs. Guys, hurry up. We've only got a few seconds. Uh-oh, what did, what did, oh! Oh no! Oh, that's bad. This is bad. I don't think we were ready for this. Ah! Everybody hurry! Where is everybody? Carrying freaking leaves! Oh no, did we, did we? The queen? Oh, the, the queen is dead. Long, long live the queen. Oh man. The colony's deeds laid bare. There is no Tiger beetles feasting on the queen. It's just gross. Oh, now the army arrives. Okay, fantastic. Although it doesn't look like they're doing too well either. So maybe that's how we messed up. We, we just failed to use the conga line approach, which was really what we needed to do. Anyway, Baron's Brigade, thank you so much for watching another episode of Empires on the Undergrowth. Now that we've got a better handle on how to properly build leafcutter ant colonies, I think we'll have a much better chance in the next one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.